Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so we've got this uh, Chrysler Town & Country here that's brought in. Check engine lights on. And it has a code stored in it for low uh, battery voltage or low system battery voltage. So when the battery voltage in these dips down below that 6 volt mark, it'll throw a code here. Uh, and of course it's kind of, you know, gets the modules all goofed up and, uh, you know, sets this code. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the Pico. Uh, we're going to use the battery test option on the tool. I'm going to show you how to do that test uh, if you have a Pico and uh, kind of some of the neat things that it shows you uh, and it's a really quick test to do. So first of all we're going to take and just, uh, I've got a thermometer here because we're going to need the battery temperature for this test. Uh, we're going to take channel A and we're just going to hook it to uh, our battery terminals here and then we're going to take our uh, 2000 amp current clamp, so this is the TA-167. You can also use the 600 uh, amp clamp. We're going to zero this. Uh, we're stick this on the battery positive. You could also stick it on a battery negative, whichever one is accessible. Got our temperature there. We're going to enter the information here into the software. So we've got our Pico software here. Uh, the little icon for this is this one here, the Pico Diagnostics, uh, in case you're wondering about that. So we've got that opened up. We're going to go to battery tests naturally. Uh, if you don't know your termination or how to hook it up, there's a couple different tests that this can do. There's an extended drop test that they do. We'll go to the help section, go to tests, go to battery tests, and then uh, in here it gives you know all the specifics as far as your connection. Uh, like I mentioned here, you can do this extended drop test. We're going to use the other two channels. Uh, this one here, we're just going to do a real simple test. I'm pretty sure the battery in this thing is hammered. So now that we've got everything hooked up, we've got to come down here. We've got to enter our information. So it is a 12 volt. It is a lead acid battery. We are at a balmy 2 degrees Celsius. So we're going to take this down to 2 degrees. Uh, this is a 600 cold cranking amp battery. And then we're going to go to start. Here it's going to ask us to start the engine, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let that run for a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut the car off. down here it gives us this handy little report so it shows us our initial voltage that is a little bit low uh, like I said it is it is pretty dang cold I just brought the car inside um, so it gives us our state of charge uh, our lowest voltage that we we hit here so 6.65 volts so just just about to that threshold where it's going to throw the light on uh, this vehicle I did look through the freeze frame data it did dot, dip down to like 5.98 something like that just below six uh, gives us our voltage drop, the maximum current output. Uh, it calculates the internal resistance of our battery. Uh, therefore, it can give us our cold cranking amperage output, which is only 55% of its capacity. Uh, quickly just tells us to replace the battery. Uh, it also checks it for uh, uh, charging output, so 90% of our charging output. Gives us our uh, AC ripple test, uh, which is uh, all pretty cool. Nearing up, you know, that's getting a little high, uh, but uh, being that this battery is spanked, I'm not too too awful worried about that. I don't know what the threshold is where it gives us a, a red light for that. Uh, but what's neat about this test, uh, you know, if you run a shop, you can come up here and you can print this little guy. You know, if you want, well, you could add add your customer details here, um, but you can print out this little report, uh, which is pretty cool. I'll zoom in on this. You know, so you can print this out and, uh, you know, it's a quick, super easy test. Uh, gives you a little graph to look at, you know, shows our, shows our voltage drop, our current draw, which, you know, kind of are in direct relationship to each other. So that's that. Uh, what we can do, uh, we know this battery's junk. I'll take and swap it out. We'll rerun this test and uh, see how it goes. All right, we've got our new battery installed. I'm going to change some settings here. New battery's been sitting inside here, so we've got to change this to... About 20, I think it's about 28 degrees here. We'll, we'll check. Oh, let's see. No, nope, we're just a smidge. Where are we? We are about heh, way off. What am I thinking? I don't know my centigrade conversions, folks. Uh, we're about we're about 11 degrees. 
little chillier than I thought. So battery's about, uh, we'll call it 12. The cold cranking output on this is about 800, or is 800, it's not about, it claims to be 800. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Wants us to crank the engine over. Shut it off. Shouldn't have been any surface charge on this. No, there wasn't. So we're about 12.4 to start. Uh, Volts drop is much, much better. Not 100% sure. Oh, okay, that's going to be maximum current. Okay, I, I agree with that. Yep, we can see here it's our maximum current peaked out there about 600. Uh, but our regular cranking amperage was just a smidge over two. So that's that's pretty normal. Um, it's calculated our battery at 942 cold cranking amps. Not uncommon to see on a brand spanking new battery. Uh, we can see our AC ripples drop down. We've got a whole bunch of green lights. And again, you know, if you wanted to print this out for your customer, kind of a before and after, uh, it's a handy little thing and people like to see little graphs. All right, that's it. That's the Pico battery test in a nutshell. Uh, it's really simple to do uh, and it's an easy, I don't want to say an easy sale to your customer, but it is an easy sale and it, because it's a legitimate test and you know, put it right there, takes all the guesswork, does all the math for you, ship that baby down the road. So thanks for watching.